Hey there, Survivors Cougar here, back with more late game Planet Crafter gameplay. We are picking up where I dieted yesterday. I drowned swimming through this underwater passage. So we're going to try this again. And hopefully not drown this time. Nice underwater passage. We'll go under it. Last time we went through, there's a, a building on top of this. There. Uh, I'm not going to waste time. Let's just keep moving. And yes, yesterday we, we saw this spot and there's a message there and I stopped to read it. Uh, I didn't stop to read it yesterday, but I, I have read it since then. It doesn't say anything important. So let's just keep going. We'll make it this time. No problemo. There's oxygen right up there. I'm not going to stop to look in that chest. We can come back for that after we get some O2. But this is what we did not make it to yesterday. This thing, this area, looks pretty cool. What will we find? Get, let me let me get up some kind of altar let's read we want to survive waiting for certain death is not selflessness it is suicide it is self-destruction some of us have chosen to leave before the inevitable to think the destruction behind and are to leave the destruction behind and our loved ones who think that fate is greater than choice if you want to join us use this chip and find hidden 10 keys we left behind on this planet and place them in the extraction ca capsule oh okay cool warden key detector awesome all right great so now we can plug that in use this in the blueprints screen to unlock a new blueprint all right and then i guess we can build a detector that's going to help us find all the warden keys that we're going to need to get off the planet um speaking of which had a little trouble with my um, helmet cam footage. I played for about an hour yesterday and recorded it, and the recording didn't—it didn't come out for some reason. I, it never—it wasn't in my videos folder. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I did yesterday, and I'm sorry that you missed that. But what I'll tell you what we did. You know, so in the last episode, we built an animal shelter in which we can birth animals by creating genetic strands and plugging them into so we did that we crafted a couple of genetic strands and we made our first mammals which was very exciting and i'm sorry you missed it but i'll show you the mammals that we made we also built the extraction platform so that is ready and waiting for us but if you remember it told us that we couldn't use the extraction platform until we had destroyed the anomaly that was keeping it from operating. So we are going to hopefully find some warden keys that are going to let us un um, find, or yeah, we're going to find some warden keys that are going to lead us to, or let us access the anomaly and hopefully blow it up so we can get out of here. Mission accomplished. Fully terraformed planet. Have I been in here? This may just lead us back to where we just were. Yeah, I think it, I think it does. I think we've been in here and it just led us back to where we were just a minute ago. So, oh, another thing we found yesterday is, um, oh, it was when we built the extraction platform. I'll show you when we get there. But one of the screens on it gave us the coordinates for the anomaly that we have to blow up. And I think I know where it is. And I think we're going to need a warden's key to access it. 
So that's going to be our project for today is going to be to find a warden key. We're going to use this warden key detector that we just got, which is going to make finding a warden key much easier, hopefully. And then use the warden key to access the site where the anomaly is. So the anomaly is not that big ship that we found yesterday. Apparently there's still nothing... Oops, I went the wrong way. Apparently there's still nothing to do with that ship. It just looks really cool down there. Did I... I went completely the wrong way? Yes, this way. So... First on the agenda, well, I'll show you the stuff that we made yesterday, and I'll show you, introduce you to our new animals. I have not named them yet. Maybe you can help me with that. We have two of them, and going back to my Subnautica days, my two favorite names for creatures are Chicken and Nugget. So, I don't think we can actually name them, name them, like, in-game, but... Yikes, getting some, getting some meteors falling here. Okay, we have a bunch of new blueprints. Another thing we did yesterday is one of the blueprint chips that we found at some point unlocked the tier four jetpack. And so we built that over there at the crafting station. And um, now we have that. So now we have a bunch of blueprints. New blueprint received, warden key detector. Let's just get the rest of these blueprints in. An interior wall, okay. A flare for seeing at night, marking locations, and a tier 3 deconstruction microchip. Okay, so then we probably, in terms of making microchips, we want the warden key detector microchip, which maybe we can build here. Yep, there it is. All right, so we're going to need two solar quartz, which we, looks like we have everything we need. Two solar quartz, one magnetar quartz, one blazar quartz. So do we have a blazar quartz? No. All right, so we're missing the Blazar Quartz, but we know where to find Blazar Quartz because we found some in the last episode at the Rainbow Cave. So we can head back there. But let me just show you what we did yesterday. So yet, or in the last episode, we built this thing and didn't really know how to, to make it work. But I plugged in a bunch of stuff. We had extracted some genetic traits. We plugged, then we built this thing which we couldn't build yesterday because we didn't have Magnetar Quartz. But I found some of that in the Rainbow Cave. And then we plugged in the genetic traits here and we made some mammal DNA. And then we took the mammal DNA out here to the animal shelter and plugged it in here and made two mammals. One of them is making noise right now. Hi there. Yes, you're bigger than yesterday. Um, yeah, so there they both are, my two new mammals. That one's pretty cute with the big eyes. Um, unfortunately, they're very, they're, they're getting hungry because another thing that we have to build is the animal feeder. And I don't have one of those yet. And I don't have the materials that I need to make it because we're going to have to build a trading platform to acquire flour, which is used to create that. Let me just take you over here and show you the extraction platform that we built in the lost footage. So here's the extraction platform and click here. It gives, gives us the anomaly location. And I think I know where that is, but we're going to have to find it at some point. But for now, um, tops on the agenda, uh, I, I think is finding the warden key or crafting the warden key to tech. So that's going to require some of that Blazar Quartz. Now we could trade for the for the Blazar, Blazar Quartz if we um, had a trading platform. We're going to have to build that too. But since we know where the Rainbow Cave is, we can probably go out there and, and get some for ourselves without having to trade for it. But we do have to build that trading platform. So that's on the agenda today as well. I don't want those new mammals to starve to death. I hope that they're not going to starve to death before we can get the feeding, the animal feeder built. 
But if they do, just chalk it up to science. A science fail, and we'll make more animals. Because we are, apparently we are gods, creating new life. Um, I think this is the rainbow cave in here. Yeah. So there should be all kinds of different, different kinds of quartz in here. Probably looked at this already. Yeah, we got what we what was in there. This is quasar quartz. Great. Grab some of these. We'll we'll grab a, as much more quartz as we can find in here. Um, if you don't know what we're gonna need it for. But, I, I mean, in terms of the other types of quartz in here as well. We'll get some more magnetar quartz. We'll see if there's any more solar quartz for us to pick up. Get all the quasar quartzes out of here. You cannot mine this area just yet. You cannot set up a mining platform in here. Uh, maybe someday you will. But for now, we'll just grab what we can with the scanner. All right, that's a lot of quasar quartz. Let's see what's up here. That just leads out. Okay. Let's see if we can get some solar quartz and magnetar quartz, as long as we're in here. This is where the magnetar quartz... No, this is blazar. This is, so this is what we needed. We didn't need the quasar quartz. We needed the blazar. But there's plenty in here. Let me... It's very pretty. These caves are beautiful. Look at that. All right, I think that's... Get these last two on the way out, and that'll be it. enough. I thought that was leading us out. Let's see if we can find the solar the solar quartz area. Get these on the way out. Yeah, okay. There's water right here. We need to eat too. Give me some water. Come on, come on, come on. It's not letting me drink the quasar water. Sorry that the drink prompt is appearing and then disappearing. We'll try some different water. We gotta eat something. I have some food. Let's eat some honey and some beans. I can't drink you? There we go. Mm, I wanna stay in the caves back out to the entrance here. Pulsar Quartz. I think I have lots of this, but grab a couple extra because I've just used a couple to make some of the stuff that I showed you just now. That's enough. It's enough of the pulsar. Let me get out of here. Um. That's leading up. This is the Magnar. Mag no, this is more Blazar. Okay. Shoot, I'm not remembering where the the solar quartz was. Well, it's like a maze in here. No wonder I can't find anything. And we're back where we started. Ah, solar quartz, good. All right. 
Yeah, it's probably enough. A couple more up here. All right, that should be plenty. Well, maybe maybe they're valuable and we want to use them to, for trading stuff too. Once we get that trading platform up and running. I've never used the trading platform. I've never built one. I don't know what it's for. I mean, I, obviously I know what it's for, but um, I don't know how to use it. I have found some, some credit chips lying around. So we have some some credits that we can spend on stuff. I'm just going to take us. We don't have to jetpack all the way back to base. We can jetpack over to the super alloy cave over here. If I can find it in the dark. And then we can teleport from the super alloy cave. Okay. So I think this is where we need to end up to to find the anomaly. Um, but so there's one warden key that you put here to, to open this area up. And then through there, there's there are spots for more warden keys, but I don't have any more warden keys. So we're going to have to make that warden key detector, find more warden keys, and then open up the path to the anomaly. But for now, we should have everything we need to make that Warden Key Detector. All right. So now we just plug that into one of our slots here. And how does it work? I have no idea. Explore the world to find hidden war Warden's hidden structures. So apparently if we... I mean, I'm guessing if we get close to a warden key, it'll start making noise or something. I have no idea. Because we don't have any kind of mini map or anything. We have the big map. I'm just dropping this stuff in here. It doesn't... When you have the craft from containers mod, it, it, you don't have to keep stuff in any sensible place. Like, you don't have to put it in the... the um, the labeled, you know, I've, I made these labels and was trying to keep things organized. But when you have craft from containers, it doesn't really matter. All right. So we have the warden key detector, but where should we go to start looking for warden keys? I'm going to say back out to the lava biome because we haven't really explored that at all. So let's just go look. Um, I think the waterfall portal is closest to the lava biome. Get some water. You know what? I'm changing my mind. The, the, the stuff with the warden keys, that can wait. You know what can't wait is feeding our new animals. So we're going to go back and see about building the trading platform so I can buy some flour so I can make an animal feeder. Okay, so what does the trading platform require? Trade space rocket, we have everything we need, but it's so large that we, <clears throat> we're going to have to run around and pick up all the stuff ourselves and then carry it elsewhere because craft from containers only works from a certain distance. Oh, and with the release version, or maybe it came in a different uh, version, but we now have the ability to middle mouse on things and pin the recipe. So that's three circuit boards on us, one super alloy rod from over here. So remember when I said we didn't need stuff labeled anymore because we have craft fun containers? Well, apparently we do need stuff labeled because we have to do this kind of thing. Rocket engines are over here, I think. Yep. And one uranium rod. Uranium. 
Okay, that should be everything. Did I get three circuit boards? Yes. Three circuit boards, one super alloy rod, one rocket engine, one uranium rod. Good to go. Now we just need to find a big open space. And try this way over near the, the extraction rocket. It's probably not going to fit here. And that is a valuable plant that I would like to pick up. It's not letting me. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, just find me some space with no trees, please. We're getting really far away from base. Let's try it here. This does not look like it's going to be big enough, but let's give it a shot. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yay, now we can trade. Now, I've never done this before, so I don't know how it works. Show interface. Space pirate. Space. I got three achievements. Build a space trading rocket. Gain money. So apparently we have money. And then we're going to trade stuff for stuff. These are tradable items. We need a cooking station. So I guess that's first. Wheat seeds. We have to plant. I thought I planted. You know, there was a. Cost. How much do I have? Hold on, I have to unpin this blueprint. See, now, there was a... They had a little birthday celebration for stuff um, for, for the game. And they had a little area that you could reach where there was a birthday cake and a bunch of stuff. That you could pick up and one of those things was wheat and i thought i was so i thought i was i started growing some wheat but that may be on a different save on a different game yeah i'm not seeing any any wheat farms here yeah and then after the birthday celebration like it lasted like i don't know a week or something and then it became that you had to trade for the things that you got for free in the birthday spot you were no longer able to get them for free. Where'd I, where'd I build it? There it is. It wasn't that big. I could have built it closer. Thought it was going to be bigger. Okay, so we want a cooking station. We want wheat seeds. We may eventually need cocoa seeds. I should probably get some of those. Smart fabric, customizable sofa, customizable bed. Pressure multiplier fuse. We don't need any of those. Heat multiplier. Rosea tree seed. Fish eggs. Butterfly larva. Frog eggs. Tier 2 storage locker blueprint. Hmm. Hmm. That's 5,000. How much do I have? I have 2,800 available. Alright, so let's just get the stuff we need. And that looks like that's all we need. One of each of these. Because once we start harvesting cocoa and wheat, we'll get more seeds. Go trade. Do some trading. Now, where does the stuff we're trading from? Does it just appear in my inventory? How does that work? Do I have to pick it up here? Tokens available. Trade rocket return. Okay, so we have to wait 570 seconds before we get the stuff that we just traded for. So in the meantime... In the meantime, I guess we can go out and start seeing if we can figure out how this... Um, the Warden's Key Detector works. Let me get water. There's no water back in the lava area. And I do have a tiny bit of food. We got one beans on us. I'm going to go ahead and eat that. So we, we zipped around through here briefly yesterday, but we didn't really look around.
and we've we've already found a bunch of warden keys on our own so i'm not sure where we should be looking for them but since this is a new area we haven't found the warden key that's in here so that i assume is in here so let's see if we can well there oh okay it just pops the warden key right up open warden's altar awesome this wasn't here last last time i was here i looked at this in this area and there was nothing here but now we have a warden's key oh no 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 not into the lava Whoa. Genetic traits, rocket engine, tier four mutagen, Tusca seed. Apologies, the rain is kind of loud. It's going to make it hard to hear for a little while until the rain stops. Okay, I doubt that it's been long enough for the trade ship to have returned, but let's just check on our way out to where we were a few minutes ago where I said, I, okay, trade rocket's not back. We just check the timing on it. Yeah, we still got lots of time. So let's go back out to the super alloy cave and open the next part of that warden's artifact area. Okay, we can hear again. Oof, some loud rain. Okay, when you get back in these artifact areas, you can't use the jetpack for some reason. So we're just going to be legging it from here. I think I want to go this way. Yes. Okay. Warden's key. Now what happens? That should have done a thing. A thing should have happened. Hmm. Yeah, this is an area that I've been to, and I think I think I recorded. I think you guys were here with me for this. Oh, let's just look around and see if putting the warden's key there opened something. Oh, we need another one. Shoot. Okay, well, we'll keep looking. It's good to know we can just... They're so easy to find when you have the detector. I imagine we'll just be stumbling across them as we go about our business. If not, you know, people have recorded these locations and you can find them online. Oops, sorry, getting turned around here.
Okay, so back to just await the arrival of the trading ship. See, I have all these tier one miners and heaters back here just because they're a good way to unload um, extraneous materials without wasting them. Oh, teleporter. Not back yet, but probably getting pretty close. Yep. A couple of minutes. So, on the long list of things that we need to do, I think we're just waiting for the trading ship. Unless we feel like making more animals. More mammals. Yes, we'll call you Chicken. You're the cute one. Hey, you're welcome. Yes, you are cute. He's talking to me. And the other one we're going to call Nugget. Oh, you. Yes, you're Nugget. You can pet them. Doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> but he purrs a little bit. <laughs> Cutie. All right, killing time, waiting for the trading ship. Let's just look at some other stuff in our buildables. New stuff to build. And we have a genetics inside. We never built the portal generator. So if, if you're not aware, the portal generator, it takes you to um, randomly generated instances where you can find good stuff. I've never built one. I've never used it. Doesn't really interest me. Drone station we have. Auto crafters we have. I think everything else we've built. Including the tier 4 jetpack, which we have now. Yes, so this is what we need to build. The animal feeder. And we have everything that we're going to need for that. Except the flower. Which is why we're waiting on the trading ship. So we can build a cooking station and make some, uh, plant some grain and make some flour. Any minute now. You know what? I'll just skip ahead to when the ship comes. Okay, it's supposed to be landing in about 10 seconds. Count down with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I think I see it. 4, 3... Two, one, here it comes. Yeah, retro rockets fire. Awesome. So now do I pick it up stuff up from here? Or did it just appear in my inventory? No. Do I pick it up from the rocket? Okay, pick it up from the rocket. Cooking station, blueprint, wheat seeds, and cocoa seeds. I know I had some of those. I just it must have been on a different... I have like three different game plays going. Games going. Must have been on a different play. All right, we have room right in here to build a cooking station. So let's see what's that going to take. Oh, no, we got to put the blueprint in first. Hold on. New blueprint received, cooking station. That is... Where's my cooking station? There it is. And we only need a circuit board and one super alloy piece of cake. Plenty of room right here. Cool! Look, it's like a little kitchen! Nifty! Let me get some water before we proceed. I'm also going to have to build another couple of farming stations. 
to start growing the wheat and the cocoa. And maybe we've got room for that right down here. Outdoor farm. Um, we're going to have to be a little closer to my craft from containers. We're going to have to be a little closer to my containers. Oops. I'm just going to build it here and then deconstruct it. We're going to need two. Just so I have all the stuff in my inventory. And then see about rebuilding down here. Mm, that's not going to fit. Well, it will, but it's going to make accent. Eh. Let's see if there's someplace better. Whoa, sorry. Is there room out here? How about out here by the drone station? Okay. There's one. And a second one. That's uh, right in front of the drone station. No. We can put it on the ground. It's, well, it's a little uneven. That's fine. Whoops, except these plants are growing up through it, but. Okay, so now we plant some wheat seeds and some cocoa seeds. Okay, cool, now we just gotta wait for that stuff to grow, then we can make some flour, then we can make some stuff, some, and an animal feeder. In the meantime, what do we do? We admire our beautiful base. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just trying to think where might we go to look for warden keys? Hmm. I don't know. All right. Well, in which case, I'm just going to skip ahead to when we have some um, grain to make into flour. So I'll see you guys then. Well, just checking in. Uh, we are at 40% growth on the cocoa. And you can see that we're starting to get some cocoa beans growing here. You can actually see them growing. And wheat coming in down here. Back when they're ready. Um, checking back in, guys. We're at like 66% growth. So we're almost there. But... Uh, did a little research, and it looks like the Warden Keys, you can find a bunch of them around Rex, usually. So let's just go out and check out some of the Rex, the nearby Rex, as we wait for that stuff to finish growing. Not one, seeing one around this wreck. There's another wreck out here. And we just flew over a froggy spawner. So we'll check that on the way back, see if we can get some frog eggs. Okay. Unfortunately, I have tree spreaders all over here. So it might make finding our warden keys a bit harder. This might be easier to do at night, I'm wondering. Is the, the last one was pretty easy to see. Nope, there we go. There's one. Awesome. Okay. And then there's another wreck back in the labyrinth here. Let's check that one. And then we'll have two warden keys. Nothing much growing out here except the, the trees that I planted with my tree spreaders. Oh, and there it is, right in front of us. Awesome. Two Warden's Keys. Wow, this place looks so different. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful back here now.
and I'll bet we're ready to have our first wheat harvest by the time we get back. Oof. One hundred percent. One, two. That's not ready yet. Not ready yet. Not ready yet. Why did it go back to 1% when I can see more? There's more wheat. I was just not highlighting it properly. Okay, so that's our first wheat harvest. We got five. Unfortunately, I believe we need six to make flour. Check it out, our new cooking station. Yeah, we need six. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for one more harvest. Let's get the chocolate, the cocoa, first. Cool. Now we've got cocoa and water and green beans. I'm just getting hungry, so let's eat something. And as we wait for the next wheat harvest, let's get back out and plug in this warden's key that we found. I'm going to Super Alloy. See if this leads to something interesting. We haven't seen much action from these altars yet. Not sure what they're supposed to be for. Where'd our warden key go? Didn't I pick it up? D did I look at it and not actually pick it up? I'm not sure. I won't make you run back out there with me, though. I'll figure out figure it out, and we'll pick this up when I figure out what just went wrong. Okay, folks. Well, sorry about that. Apparently, I just... What happened was I misclicked when we went to get the second Warden's Key just now. And I stacked the two of them on the altar instead of picking them up. So now we have that one. And... No idea what it's supposed to do. Nothing happened or opened or... I don't know. Oh, and we can't use our jetpack down here. Um, I, I've been all up in there and stuff, and I don't think I, I have. I'm. I have no idea what these altars are supposed to do. Maybe we have to find and mount keys in a bunch of them to. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look it up and figure it out eventually. But for now, we're just going to go back and see if our second wheat harvest is ready and make some wheat make some flour to make our animal feeder so our two new mammals chicken and nugget don't starve home checking the crops done 97 percent not quite ready you're ready you're ready you're ready that's enough i'll pick you up anyway okay all right let's make some flour Just like that, we've got flour. Now what else do we need to make the animal feeder? Let's pin it. We need silk, which I can get. I should have silk here. There's some silk. And again, I'm just going to use craft from containers to build it right here. And then move it. Oh, honey and bioplastic nugget. Mm -mm. Get some honey out of here. And we may have to make a bioplastic nugget. Which is no problem. 
We should have the stuff we need to do that. Where do you make them again? I forget. The tier one crafter? Oh, the bio station. Sorry, bio station. There we go. Needed two mushrooms, some silicon, and something else. Now we should be able to build this. Cool. Now deconstruct and move it over by our critters. Here, you guys must be hungry. Come here. I'll feed you. There you go. Do I have to put food in it? Oh, apparently I do. Well, what do they eat? How do I know what they eat? Do they eat honey? Oh, I ate that. <laughs> do they eat beans? Oh, I ate that. I don't know what we're supposed to put in here. What do you guys eat? Does it tell us? Growth, hunger, very hungry. Species 2, color ABs, bioluminescent size, a pet. I don't know what I feed you. Was there like pet food in the, the new cooking station? Quality food, croissant, birthday cake, honey cooked beans, fish soup. Hmm. Let me unpin the animal feeder. Hold on. It'd be nice if there was some information telling you what you're supposed to feed these guys. I have no idea what to put in there. Let, let me get some more vegetables. Squash, eggplant, mushroom, beans. Let's see if any of these will feed you. I mean, I'm clicking on it and it's disappearing. But it's not showing up here. Oh, the beans did. Okay. Huh, the beans and the squash did. Okay. Let's give them more beans and squash. Come and get it, fellas. Has anyone come to eat yet? Come eat. What are you saying? What are you saying to me? Yeah. Why is he not highlighting? I can't see. Whatever. Why can I not see your food level? Hmm. You uh, hunger 79. Well, I think it was at <laughs> 8 before. So I think this guy has eaten. This guy is at 27. So he's going to have to go eat. Has any of this disappeared? Nope, that's all still in there. All right, but I think they're they're being fed one way or another. They're they're feeding themselves from the feeder, so I think we're good. Good, and we've got them. Oh yeah, another thing we did yesterday was we sent up a mammals rocket, a mammal spreader rocket. And, but yesterday, I mean, in the lost footage that I wasn't able to share with you guys. So we do have one animal spreader rocket up there right now, and I don't think there's much else for us to do except figure out where the anomaly is and how to access it and blow it up. Hmm. But while I figure out how to do all that, I think we're going to call it an episode here. Not a very long one, but there it is. We've got our animal feeder down. We figured out we get made the warden's key finder, found some warden's keys and plugged them into places. So thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe survivors.